Oh, is this another- I wonder if I can have sex with the teacher, or is this just like a dude I have to beat? Do you know where Mr. Vegas classroom is? Ugh, come on kid, I'm late for a meeting. Mr. Who? Mr. Vega? I don't know, have you tried the exit? Okay, wise guy, you gonna help me or not? Ugh, fine. Up those stairs and to the left, cat by Sam. Thanks. I go back to where that low red Gerard Way is standing. Uh, <laughs> from My Chemical Romance. Hmm? Oh, so this- is this Principal Dad or Teacher Dad? This looks like Principal Dad. Oh, okay, so this is Mr. Vega. So this- so I was right. This- this is like Teacher Dad, I'm assuming. Hmm. Um... You must be Dixie. This period's almost over. Would you mind waiting in the back? Neil deGrasse Tyson Dad. He kind of does look like him, doesn't he? Like a, like a taller... Kind of like younger version. Oh. Um. So I guess we have to wait for his like mm -hmm. class to be done hmm. before we can talk to him. Hugo Vega. Mm -hmm. That's quite the name. And they're talking about Te Catcher in the Rye. Ugh, the board, that book is so boring. Sweet Manchego. Hmm? Being a teacher would be hard. Hmm. Middle schoolers, right? Don't you teach high schoolers? Hmm. Both. You know, budget cuts. Right. Hmm? Thanks so much for coming in. No problem. Hmm? Please call me Hugo. Ooh, we're on a first name basis already. Hmm. I don't normally do these impromptu prepared teacher interviews, but as I'm sure you know, Amanda's a very bright student and I'm concerned about her recent behavior. What's going on? Hmm. Amanda has never been the most engaged student, but I know she cares. Recently, though, she's been falling behind. She's not completing assignments and has been doing rather poorly on tests. I normally chalk this up to senioritis, I guess because she's a senior, but... Huh. Eh. That's odd. I just wanted to ask, is everything okay at home? Oh. We just moved. Maybe that's why. <laughs> We just moved recently, but it was only to the other side of town, and Amanda was more excited about it than I was. Ah. See if you can talk to her about it. I know she values you a great deal and would appreciate your guidance. Eh. I know how important art school is to her, and I would hate to see her miss out on scholarship money that she clearly deserves. Aw. Might be kind of weird if I, like, decided to date her teacher, but he seems very nice. Ah. Anytime. Hey, Hugo. Ah. Yes. They ever catch that rye? Hmm. <laughs> ah, dad joke. Ah. I had a super hot teacher uh, in high school that I like didn't really have a crush on because I was like, he's married and that's not realistic, but he was really hot and a lot of people thought he was like really attractive. So I guess now we have to have the chat with our daughter about English class. I wonder what, what's going on with her. I hope she's okay. Let's go to the mall food court. I want to try to get out of the house as huh? much as I can. I want to meet all the dads we can. I mean, I'm sure you can meet all your dads anyways, but you know. Mm. I will buy you a thing, singular. <laughs> Sounds like a deal to me. You know, sometimes when a kid gets older, they find that they have to keep things hidden from their parents, and that's okay, because sometimes that's what kids do, and that's okay, but also sometimes it's good to have the parents' perspective, because, you know, maybe the parents have also dealt with similar situations. Mm -hmm. And maybe they're a little cooler than you give them credit for. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that it's good to share. Love you. Have you been reading my tweets? You have Twitter? Mm. What? Never mind. <laughs> Look, sweetie, Mr. Vegas said you haven't been participating in class and that you're not turning things in. Oh, I'm fine, Pops. Senioritis and all that. I thought you liked Mr. Vegas' class. It's fine. He's fine. Uh, something's not right. 
just, I want you to know that you can talk to me about anything. Uh-huh. Hmm. I heard Emma R is going to that fancy school in California. That's exciting. Yep. Are you bummed that you guys aren't going to be at the same school? Yep. Hmm. Uh, maybe she's upset about finishing high school and having to, like, go to, you know, college or something. Hmm. Who are you texting? Noah. Who's Noah? My friend. Does he go to your school? Hmm. Yep. Do you like Noah? Whoa. What? No. Dad? Ugh. I can't believe you would... Aww. Dad. I mean, jeez. Why would you... Okay, so I think it's very clear she likes this boy. She's getting very defensive. Gross. Sorry, sorry, just asking. Dad, he's just my friend. Guys and girls can be friends, he's my friend. Mm. Okay, okay. Jeez. This is going well. Good talk, love you kiddo. Maybe she's just focused on this new boy or something. I don't know. It could be anything, but she doesn't seem like a bad kid. Maybe we'll meet a mall dad. <laughs> Let's eat something disgusting for dinner. Mm -hmm. huh? We have approached the food court and evaluate our options. There's greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. My heart burns looking at the menus. Nobody looks happy to be here. What are you in the mood for? Bread dipped in sugar, bread with cheese on it, or do you just want me to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream? Fat directly in my bloodstream sounds lovely. I'm gonna share some nachos. That sounds good. Mmm. Oh, I love cheese. Cheese is so good. Hmm. Can you explain memes to me? <laughs> hmm. uh, which meme? All. All memes. Ugh. Oh my god. This is like a situation where like your parents walk into like, like your room and you're playing a game and they're like, Oh, honey, are you winning? And like you don't have time to explain to your parents that like not every video game is about like winning. I'll be playing like Fallout or something and I'll be like, Ugh, where do I even begin? Dad, it's complicated. See, memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people that get less funny the more people do it. So the problem is that by the time a meme gets to you, Dad, all its use have already done the joke to death. Ugh. And what's worse than that is that movies and TV and video games will try to jump in on a meme train, but just based on how long it takes to make them, the meme will be long dead by the time it comes out. So it just dates it and it isn't funny. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> Dad, please. Yeah. Anyway, changing the subject. Where to now? Oh, we're gonna meet Goth Dad. A few of you seem to be pretty excited about Goth Dad, so... Are we gonna go to Hot Topic? Basically? The one where you can buy chain wallets and it's basically an assault on some people- on what people fought so hard against in the punk and hardcore movements of the 70s and 80s? Dude, you gotta be more specific. The one you threw up in that one time. Oh, that one! Yeah, this looks exactly like how Hot Topic looks. Yes. I'll do it if you stop chanting! Thank you all for joining us here today to commemorate a historical moment that would forever shape history. On a day very much like today, some five years ago, our very own Amanda Ann Normus had too much blue raspberry slushy on an outing to the mall after begging her father to take her to dead goth and beyond. Ha, <laughs> like bed, bath, and beyond. To buy rainbow suspenders, she proceeded to throw up all over a display of My Chemical Romance merchandise. Her loving father then had to pay for said merchandise, which to this day remains among our possessions. Thank you. Huh. Amanda is moved. She begins clapping. Ah. Uh. Yes. Hot Topic's more crowded in your area. I think Hot Topic is American. I don't think we have Hot Topic. I'm gonna look at the ironic mugs, because that seems like something a dad would do. If there's only one number one dad, then why are there so many mugs here that say that? This whole time I thought I was the only one! If I'm not number one, where do I place on the global dad ranking charts? I have work to do. 
He looks just he looks just like uh like Dracula with long hair. He's phoned it in. He's got like the like the fluffy like neck frill and he's got like the cape. Oh man, this guy is just too much with for <laughs> it's just too much for me. Oh my. Listen, when I bought this online, the website said this blouse was Victorian inspired. However, when I received it, it clearly held the trademark of Edwardian dressage. Do you want a coupon? I can give you a coupon. We leave if I give you a coupon. <laughs> Is there a manager present? People have to know what they're buying. I am the manager. I see. Well, it would seem that I have outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your superiors will receive a strongly worded letter by post. Whatever, dude. Wow. This guy's a little much for me. I wonder if he likes Twilight. Oh. Hey, Dadtron5000. Yes, I'll buy it for you. Wow, that was easy. Thanks. I love your hair. What was that guy's deal? That's Damien. Oh my god, of course, of course his name is Damien. He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. Well, we didn't actually even get to like talk to Goth Dad. He just we just saw him, so maybe we'll have to talk to him some other time. Long haul paranormal ice robed ghost truckers is on. They have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice roads melt, but also they're hunting ghosts. I feel like that's like a parody of uh what's that show called? There's an actual show uh where they where they're truckers in like the north. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. But there is a show like that for real. Also the trucks are haunted. Oh man. I, I really like this game so far. It's it's got lots of like lighthearted humor. It's you know, it's funny and you know it makes fun of things without making fun of it too much to the point where like it's mean. Mm -hmm. I really like all the characters so far. 